Okay, very important stuff right here, folks, because fall sports are in full swing, right? With athletes across the area spending hours on the field. But what happens when something goes wrong? We're talking sports medicine with Dr. Robert Crawford from Summa Health. And we're talking about all, all types of athletes. So it's not, we're not talking about the Cleveland Browns. We're talking about maybe dad going out in the afternoon after the Browns game, throwing the football, and all of a sudden, oh! My arm hurts a little bit. What should I do? All, all of the levels, everything from professional to collegiate to recreational to high school athletes, for sure, uh, and even youth athletes. Yeah. So you would think, like, say, uh, well, maybe I broke something or maybe I didn't break something. I don't know. I'm going to go to the orthopedic guy and find out. But going to the sports medicine guy has an advantage, doesn't it? I think it clearly I think it does because uh, that's what I do uh, <laughs> it's non-operative uh, so many sports injuries in fact probably about 90 percent of sports related injuries are non-operative uh, in which case the goal is to identify it as quickly as possible fully mm -hmm. uh, and initiate the treatment plan and a lot of times it's even how do we prevent this from happening again in the future you know what can we do to keep this from happening. Yeah, to keep this from happening. But by the time they saw you, it already did happen. It did. But then you learn a whole lot about how you can prevent things happening to other parts of your body in the same kind of what weekend warrior kind of thing. So common with with a lot of the overuse injuries, whether it's a shoulder or or a stress fracture from a runner. You know, how do we get you built back up? How do we maximize your nutrition? How do we maximize mm. you know sleep and all of the other things or yeah. the rest periods of time that you have? to prevent those overuse injuries from coming back yeah, again. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about sleep and nutrition. I mean, big, yeah. big items, a lot of people probably don't think of that. They don't, they don't. Yeah. What about that, what about that great sport of flying on airplanes when, when you get on the airplane and you go to put your bag in the overhead? Is that a sports injury? It could be a little bit of both because you probably got a little bit of an irritated or maybe a weaker rotator cuff mm -hmm. or shoulder blade, and then that acute injury happens and that's Repetitive? When it's usually the, the pre-overuse ahead of time, and then that initial injury just kind of takes it to the next level. So are there a lot of things like that that, like sometimes I see somebody walking around and they don't even play sports, and next thing you know they're limping a little bit. And they say, oh, there's something, something wrong with the arch of my foot or something like that. Does that fall into your category? It certainly does, yeah. Anything non-operative, we do a lot of the musculoskeletal things, uh, certainly anything from shoulders, elbows, knee, knees, toes. Uh, the other thing that I guess some people also don't think of, are the non-operative or non-musculoskeletal things, mm -hmm. concussions. Uh, what happens if you have mono mm -hmm. and you're trying to return back to sport? Uh, Exercise-induced asthma. Uh, so there's a lot of non-orthopedic things that we take, for, take care of in sports medicine as well. So all of a sudden you, you think you're doing fine but you don't feel quite right, you'd be the right guy to go see because you can tell them like, well, hey, this is about how you breathe, maybe. Or, yeah. yeah, and again, doing the evaluations, trying yeah. to figure out, okay, what's the cause? What can we do to help get you doing yeah. better and get you back to your performance level uh, rather than just saying, oh, yeah, here's, here's an inhaler or, or whatever. Right. We want you to get back to your previous performance level. And sometimes previous performance is what caused the problem because maybe they're performing in the wrong way. Maybe the, maybe it's the wrong geometry and that sort of thing. M and mechanics of the sport are huge. Certainly we rely a lot on the coaches uh, mm -hmm. for fixing technical things. Uh, but yeah, if it's, if it's a nutritional problem, if they're anemic, if they've got a vitamin D deficiency, yeah. those things can play a role as well. Stiff neck, shoulders, that kind of thing come into play? A lot, a lot, yeah. especially the core whether it's the shoulder blades or the or the core muscles around the hips and pelvis the stronger those core muscles are oftentimes the less injuries we're going to see from it's those like athletes. a pyramid you got to have a pretty big strong base to hold on to that little thing at the top you really do <laughs> and then you got to protect that thing at the top yeah hey so i, I wish you i wish you were in my neighborhood it sounds like i, I could have needed you like a lot more 40 30 years ago or something like that there, there are a lot of good sports physicians in the area suma so health it, it, suma health but again yeah. i mean all the all the systems out there have really great sports medicine doctors and dr robert crawford eats in the medina wadsworth area is that correct that's correct yeah so you get out there and see him and if, if it's just a little something and you think it's going to go away by itself maybe it'll go away a lot better and never come back if you see him yeah right i hope so great seeing you nice to meet you oh nice grip too <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much thanks and great to see you